Good evening. And first of all, I offer my respectful obeisances unto our most beloved spiritual master, Om Vishupadastha Tarasat Shishman Bhakti Viranta Narayan Goswami Maharaj, by whose causes mercy is coming here and teaching us a little something about what bhakti is and how we can make our life successful. Then I offer my respectful obeisances unto our entire Rupanuga, Gaudiya Guru Varga, the disciplic succession, all the devotees, Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis present here, especially Chidambi Sanyasis. Um, Srila Bhaktivino Thakur, he wrote very many songs that have very deep philosophical Siddhanta truths in them. I remember one song that he writes always comes to my mind when I think of Srila Gurudev. It's Emana Dhurmati Sangsara Bitare Puriyachi no Ami. That I have such a foul mind. My consciousness, my intelligence is very polluted and very ignorant. I have fallen into this sangsar. I have fallen into this material existence and my mind is very polluted. Sometimes when I think of these Vedic things, it's like why do they have to be so negative? Why do they have to say that my mind is bad? What is this? But really, when coming into this world, we have something called Dehatma Buddhi. We think that this body is me. We think that these things are mine. But really, this is actually one of the highest forms of ignorance. Not even knowing who we are. Not even knowing our true identity. Who, who we are, what am I supposed to do? One time, someone asked Yudhisthira Maharaj, Ayaksha, Kimai Sharjam. What is the most amazing thing in all of existence? What is the most amazing thing? He, he said that everywhere around us, we see that people are dying day and night. Every second so many people are born and so many people die. Everybody knows somebody who's died. But we think that, oh, I will not die. We've come into this world for a very short period of time. Maybe 90 years, 100 years, if we're lucky. But we think that this is our true existence. We think that this temporary body that will die at any second, at any second, Dehinam Sharabangana, at any second we may die, we think that by satisfying this body, by, 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 by uh, serving this body, we will be happy. This will satisfy us. But this is really Durmati, or this is really polluted intelligence. So, this part I like very much. It says that Sri Krishna, someone who is very close, very dear to Sri Krishna, someone who is very dear to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Krishna has sent him to us. When we think of Krishna, who is Krishna? Krishna means the person who can attract everybody's mind. Like Shura Vivek always says, God is love. And love is God. So the personification of all love, of all affection, of all beauty, of all good qualities in existence is Sri Krishna. So Krishna is very soft, very gentle, very sweet, very affectionate. So samsara dava narali galoka. We are all eternal Krishna nitya das. We are eternal servants of Sri Krishna. By nature, the only way we can become happy is by manifesting our inherent potency, the power that's within us, who we really are, which is having a loving relationship with God or Sri Krishna. So, Sri Krishna sees that we have forgotten who we are. We don't even know who we are and his heart begins to melt. He begins to melt as someone who's very dear, very close to him. One of his Tabani Jajan. Krishna is not just alone in the sky. He has a whole family. He has friends. He has mother. He has father. He has so many different associates there. So someone who is very near and dear and close. Someone who had this mood, Amito Tomar, Tumito Amar. Who is so close. Tumar and Hridayasada Govinda Vishram. Someone who has Krishna sitting inside the heart. Where the heart of Krishna and the heart of devotees are inseparable. Like this. Sri Krishna sends that person into this world. Why? Because we're suffering so much here. And he says, go and please help these conditioned souls. Please teach them. Please give them diksha. Please give them divya gyan. Please tell them who they are. Please have their inherent potency of who they are manifest. Please let them be able to experience that divine love of relationship. Please make their life successful. 
So Sri Guru is that person. Sri Guru is that person who is one very near and dear associate of Sri Krishna. That is coming into this world and his only purpose is to help us. There is nothing we can give to the Vaishnavas. Sometimes we think that, oh, God needs us to serve Him. God doesn't need us. The Vaishnavas, they're existing in the spiritual world just by chanting Krishna's name. They're completely absorbed and completely self-satisfied. Up the Ram, up the Kaam. But so mercifully, Srila Gurudev, Vaishnavas, they come to our houses, to our cities, to our towns. And they tell us very beautiful Harikata. They tell us how to make our life successful. But more so, they create a relationship with us. They come and steal our hearts. <laughs> because that's what Krishna does. Krishna does um, Navaneet Tachodam. Krishna is the supreme thief. His main job, Hare Krishna, Hare means that person who can steal and take away. So Krishna is a very expert thief that comes and steals our mind. So Guru Vaishnava is they're coming in the same Sampradaya, they're part of the same family, so they come and also steal the mind of all the conditioned souls and steal our heart. So what do we have to do? What we get to do is give our mind. And naturally, smart of Yosef Tam Vishnu, we smart of Najat Chit. Spiritual life is not about what we do, what activities we perform. But it's about our consciousness. That's why Srila Bhaktivinoda to Swami Prabhupada explained International Society of Krishna Consciousness. Of how to elevate our consciousness. Where will our mati, where will our absorption be? Our absorption, if we're completely absorbed in Sri Krishna, day and night only thinking Krishna, 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 completely absorbed in that, then we become like a lotus flower. In India, if you go and you see a lotus flower, um, you put any lotus flower, not just in India, but if you put um, water on the lotus leaf, the water does not touch the leaf. You shake it and it falls off immediately. It's, and for this in Vedic culture, it's considered very pure. Even though it might be born in a muddy pond, Pankaja, it might exist in a pond that's very muddy and dirty, it remains completely pure and separate from this. So, by having our mind completely absorbed in Sri Krishna, then we become like a lotus, not touched by the muck of this material world. We become completely absorbed in Sri Krishna and our life is successful. But how many can do? If we don't know Krishna, we have not seen Krishna, we've maybe seen the deities, but Premanjana Chudita Bhakti Vilokchanena, it takes a special type of vision to be able to see Sri Krishna. So Sri Guru, he is that person who is like the representative of Krishna. By giving our love, by giving our affection, by giving our consciousness and our absorption to Sri Guru, then he will take that love and that affection and put it to the lotus feet of Sri Sri Radha Krishna. So, as devotees, what we do is we give our hearts, our soul, our mind, everything to the service of Sri Guru to make our life successful. So Srila Gurudev has asked me to speak. One time Srila Gurudev, he spoke in Gorpurnima, like uh, 13 years ago, about if one reads all the Vedas, one will not know what is the essence, what is to be done, because there's so many prescribed duties, so much in dharma and adharma. So he said that one should go to the seed, the seed of all Vedas. And that seed is Om, Omkar. So when that seed opens, it becomes Brahma Gayatri. Brahma Gayatri is the mother of all the Vedas, Vedamata. And in this uh, Brahma Gayatri, it is said, Bhargo Devasya Dhimmahi. I meditate in that 
potency. Bhargo Devasya, Bhargo means potency and Deva means Krishna. I meditate in the potency of Krishna. So that is Srimad Radhika. This is the essence of all the Vedas. So one time Gurudev revealed, he said for a very long time his heart has been wanting to reveal this to the world. So in his Vyasa Puja day he revealed that Gayatri is actually a gopi from the spiritual world. She is Radhika's Paladasi, Radhika's intimate maidservant. And Krishna sent her to this world and married her by force to Brahma. She didn't want to, but he married to, to him and that way established this parampara. So she wanted so much to go back to Golok Vrindavan and she did bhajan for thousands of years and that swarup of Brahma Gayatri transformed into Kam Gayatri. And that swarup of Om seed transformed into clean. So this Gayatri that is in uh, Kama Gayatri, by chanting this mantra, one will attain the highest birth in one of Krishna's pastimes in the womb of a gopi and will attain that prem, be trained in the different levels of prema to serve Chichi Radha and Krishna in that most highest love, the conjugal love of Radha Krishna. So all this parampara coming directly from Krishna. First is Krishna and he transmits the knowledge to the first creative being Brahma. The transmission is through uh, mercy, everything is revealed within the heart. And this parampara is going down until today. Srila Gurudev is the most prominent representative of this line. This Gurudev once told in Barshana, like maybe 13 years ago, he said that the greatest contribution of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati to Srila Prabhupada is that he established a parampara which is called Bhagavad Parampara in which he took out hundreds of people who were not Uttam Uttam Mahavagavats and he established only those who are Uttam Uttam Mahavagavats can be part of this parampara and he was criticized very much because he took so many people out of this parampara and there he established a song that we sing every day Krishna hoi te chatur muka hoi Krishna saram muka Brahma hoi te narade ramahati narada hoi te vyasa mama ko he vyasa dasa punda praya tuna navagati and so on so this parampara this song establishes that only those gurus, because there are many different levels of gurus. Nowadays, everybody becomes guru. But really, the real guru is he who can transmit the spiritual world as a mirror reflected in the hearts of all. He who can give light, divine knowledge of that spiritual realm, who can by this mantra, this calm Gayatri mantra, which is the highest, he can, by giving mantra initiation, then you will in your heart establish a relationship with Bhagavan. Only in this way we can realize our eternal relationship with God. Nowadays, there are so many different uh, forms of meditation and it's very popular becoming one with God or even becoming God himself. But this is quite false. This is just a cheating process. Because we have an eternal swarup, an eternal spiritual form. And becoming one means that you lose your eternal individual identity. So if you become one, what is the, where is the question of, of experiencing nirvana or experiencing any happiness? If you cease to be, there's no such thing. But higher than becoming one, is actually love, transcendental love. And to have love, there needs to be two, the lover and the beloved. And in this way, when Guru gives mantra, in our hearts, this mantra, the seeds of this mantra start to bloom. And one starts slowly to see in the mirror of the heart, 
the, the deities of this mantra and the, a relationship with God. So this is in okay. Hare Krishna, thank you. My close and close up Danda Pranam in my spiritual master state and same in the lotus feet of my Shiksha Guru Srila Bhakti Vedan Swami Maharaj. You know Vyas Dev. He divided Vedas in four parts. He made Brahma Sutra. <coughs> he made Mahabharat for all. He made so many Purans. But still, he was not happy. And in the meantime, his Guru Dev Narad, he came there and asked the same question. <coughs> you have made, you have divided Vedas in four parts. You wrote Brahma Sutra. <coughs> you had done Mahabharata in Gita in that 18th chapter. You made all Puran. Are you happy? <coughs> no, I am not happy. Why you are not happy? That is your guru, you can tell me. I don't know why. And then Narada told, Have you written in any of your literature the glories of Krishna? Krishna is himself Bhagavan. None is up than Krishna. <coughs> Have you written anywhere? Have you written <coughs> that Krishna is so powerful? He has all good qualities. And he has what more? Everything he he But anyhow, where have you written that this powerful Sri Krishna was baby of mother and mother? Beating him, <laughs> giving punishment. Anyone told Mother Jasode, you cannot tie him. He is outside, inside, upside, downside. <laughs> Nothing is there. <laughs> And you want to tie that Krishna? <laughs> oh, I will tie today, <coughs> not tomorrow. <laughs> if not, after this birth I will have, you will, I will have birth. And in that, I will tie Krishna. <laughs> I don't know him other day than my son. So, <coughs> have you written? Nothing. Have you written? 
दैट नंद बाबा जसोदा नाय दैनभक प्रजवासी न्यू कृष्ण एज पर ब्रह्म दे ऑलवेज न्यू हिम ओ माई चाइल्ड हैव यू रिटर्न ऑल दीज थिंग्स नो आई हैव नॉट रिटर्न हैव यू रिटर्न दैट सुप्रीम लॉर्ड विथ थाउजेंड ऑफ अ थाउजेंड गोपीज ही हैज डन राज नो आई हैव नॉट रिटर्न आई डोंट realize anything how i can write <coughs> have you written that krishna swayam para brahma and he is telling na pare ham nirvadya sanjuja sa sadhu kitta virudha disha piva ma bhajan tu vichar greh shrinkhala sambrish tatva patijat sadhu Have you written? Krishna is telling himself that I cannot repay you all gopis. Never and never. If I will have Brahma, are you? Even I cannot try. Have you written? No, I have not written. Then what you have written? <laughs> it is a place of what you have written. It is a place of cow, uh, crow, crow. Pilgrimage place of crows. Tears of crows. Not real literature. <laughs> Realize first. All the things that I have told, and then write it will be Shamadi Bhasa. Whole world will appreciate and read it. Then how I can? Oh, by Shamadi Jo, Bhakti Shamadi Jo, and then he returned back to his place. And in trance, he saw Krishna in full way. But slow, apasyat purusham purna maya, bhakti yoga na manasa pasyanti. Samvat prani te akale apasyat purusham purna maya jeda pasyam. He saw everything. He saw Nand Baba Jasoda Ma. He saw his birth. He saw Ras. He saw the love of Nand Baba Jasoda, especially Gopis dancing with Gopis. Everything top to bottom, more than Dwarka. Mathura, all Lila, hero, and he then teach all these things. Vali Shukdev Goswami, who never wrapped cloths and anything, and then. He was satisfied. So, if anyone has any question from world, it is in Bhagavat the answer. So, a lady came today, mother of Basanti. 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 <laughs> He came first time to me. 
అవి ఆస్థ ఆఫ్టర్ టెన్ డేస్ ఆఫ్టర్ ట్వంటీ డేస్ ఆఫ్టర్ హండ్రెడ్ ఇయర్స్ యూ విల్ డై వేర్ యువర్ వెల్త్ can you take a single pies from them and take it to golok bindavan now he pajal no answer i told that i have come and taken basanti to send గోలోక్ బృందావన్ అండ్ దెన్ ఈవెంట్ సాటిస్ఫై సో శ్రీమద్ భాగవత్ ఈస్ దట్ ఎనీ వన్ ఎనీ క్వశ్చన్ ఇస్ సాల్వ్డ్ ఇన్ శ్రీమద్ భాగవత్ so you should read bhagavat hear bhagavat and be bhagavat shobhu de ki ja today today is so late so i finish my class and you should ask any question from a bhagavatam and he will reply <laughs> today my class is finished class khatam you can you can tell something విదూర్ ప్రభు కమిటీ సఫ్ట్ క్లాస్ ఐ వాంట్ టు థ్యాంక్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ ఫర్ కమింగ్ హియర్ టుడే అండ్ టేకింగ్ ది ఆపర్చునిటీ టు హియర్ ద స్వీట్ హారి కథా ఆఫ్ షో ఐ వాంట్ టు ఆఫర్ యూ అ వెరీ గుడ్ ఆపర్చునిటీ ఇట్ ఇస్ సెడ్ ఇన్ ద భగవద్ గీత దీ పనిపతైన పరిప్రశ్నైన సేవయ దట్ వన్ షుడ్ ఇన్క్వైర్ from the spiritual master hear the teachings from the spiritual master and then to realize them one should render some service to the spiritual master so now you have come you had inquiries in your heart about what is krishna bhakti children they have spoken you have heard now you have opportunity to render service and to take gurudev home with you in the form of the transcendental windows to the spiritual world that have been painted under the guidance of Srila Gurudev by Srimati Shamarani and to take the transcendental literature written by Srila Gurudev which gives you the descriptions of the transcendental spiritual world so that you can understand what is the meaning of those beautiful paintings and you have the opportunity to take prasadam and do kirtan here and we hope to see you all again and again on a regular basis and if you can render any service offer any contribution offer anything we appreciate it we're going to be passing flowers out now everyone can yes there will be there's a big feast a big feast of prasad all the devotees will get prasad so you please don't leave we please stay and hear kirtan and take prasad i'm very very happy that those who were beja again many of them are here so my blessings to all Oh